if you want to see small, lightweight, take a spark, take a jet blaster, make the mother effort fast. You need to scream and yell at every social media account from C2, Yamaha, and Cowie. Excuse me. I mean, I'm, I'm talking full-blown Karen, full-blown political activist, dye your hair purple, scream and yell, shave your eyebrows off and get a cheek piercing. Be the most obnoxious activist you can and let Yamaha, c and Cowie know this is what you want. Then you go tell your dealership this is what we want. And have the dealers argue with you and you say, I'm going to punch you in the teeth and I'm going to tell you right now, we want this. And you need to advocate it. I'm going to advocate it. I will. I'll be obnoxious. I'll tell people, hey, this is what we want. No, I don't. I want to I want to explore pro because I don't want to get wet and I don't like the feel of wind on my face. No, you're 65. Go to Cracker Barrel and go get uh, uh, early bird special. We want people who want to ride and go fast and get wet and jump waves and be a freaking hoonigan. Uh, that's what we want. Honestly. That's the only way you're going to save this sport. The only way to save this sport is the rec, rec light line. Does that sound crazy? I think it sounds crazy. I think I'm crazy. Um, I think I think I'm crazy. Oh, no, Tyler, you're exactly right. They're building... Tyler's point is exactly what I'm saying. These manufacturers do a good job of releasing stuff people want, especially c to each his own. That's fine. That You're exactly right, and you're not wrong. I'm not arguing with you at all. You are exactly over target. My point is if the people within the sound of my voice agree with what I'm saying, that we want lightweight, fast, stupid, rowdy, roll over in the surf, tip it over, run it up the beach, beat the freaking living piss out of it, and have a blast the entire time to the point that you're too exhausted to drag it up on the trailer because that's old school jet skiing, then I will tell you, you tell the manufacturers this is what you want and they will build it. If you tell them what you want, and you agree that this is what you want, they will build it. But if we keep telling them, hey, I want an 1,100-pound you know, LRV or SUV like Yamaha and Sea-Doo made in 2000 that goes 14 miles an hour and has an easy-bake oven on the back, and it has you know, a little butt massager that has little magic fingers that does this, they'll build it, and it'll be good. It'll be a nice unit. Because they're going to build what they're told to build. But if a bunch of psychopaths like me and all you guys who are listening to me go, yeah, dude, I want something that's freaking something is, is going to be retro 1996. I want an XP 900. I want something that's freaking stupid. Then I'm going to tell you right now, we got to be vocal about it. We have to be obnoxious about it. Am I wrong? I mean, if I'm wrong, if I'm totally off base, if I'm the only person who thinks this way, then go, yeah, dude, you're freaking in la-la land. You're wrong. But I don't think I am. It's This is still... Boom! This is still the biggest jet ski YouTube channel. It's still the biggest jet ski magazine. So I don't think I'm that far off base. I mean, if there was, you know, if I'm if I'm over here, like, you know, they're turning the frogs gay, and I'm freaking out and like alone, and there's 15 people listening to me, then I know, okay, I'm in the wrong. But I'm out here ranting, going, hey man, I think people want more of this. I think the guys who were simping for Yamaha over the weekend and saying <laughs> they don't give a damn that they're being uh, compared to, you know, that they don't care, you know, that Yamaha doesn't care they're being compared to c -Doo. In fact, they're kind of welcoming it. I go, you know what? You're right. You are right. Because they intentionally did this. There's no hiding it. It's not like a oopsie. We didn't mean to have the same colors. They literally followed a recipe. 
All right. So my point is if we want a lightweight performance ski, if if Sidu is going to drag their damn feet and not give us the Spark X, then make Yamaha do it. Yamaha will kowtow to every dealership. They'll kowtow to, to uh, Power um, uh, Cycle Springs. They'll kowtow to Nielsen's. They'll kowtow to every major dealership. Riva, Broward, you get them. You you scream at Broward. You, I mean, not, I don't want to say scream at Broward. That's not fair to them. But I mean, you, you go to your dealer and say, man, this is the ski I would buy tomorrow. I'll put cash down right now if you told me they were going to put a turbo on a on a jet blaster and have it make 170 horse. I'll give you five grand cash right now. You're like, oh, really? All right. That goes up the ladder. Don't think it doesn't. All right. That goes up the ladder. The jet blaster literally is evidence that de public demand will force a manufacturer to build a product. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to playlists, and then click on live sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.